Hello there, and welcome to Rayman 3 Part 3. Where in this part we'll be talking about J.K. Simmons. Because it's JK his Simmons. turn. Yeah, we're talking about actors in Spider-Man, right? <laughs> Which one's... Oh yeah! Um, yeah! Yeah, 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 he's great. I actually love him in the films. A yeah. lot of people, when they review that original trilogy, say that he's the best part of it. Well, I particularly remember J.K. Simmons from... Have you ever seen the film The Lady Killers? That Tom Hanks film. Lady Killers? No, I have not. It's about this... Like, it's like a really weird film about these criminals that rent out an old woman's basement to perform a bank heist. The Except hell? when they... When they... Or no, it's not a bank heist, it's like a casino heist. But then when they steal all the money in a dispute over how they're going to get rid of the woman living in the house so they can get away with all the money. They all kill each other and weird shit, I don't know. Jesus. It's a really weird com and dark comedy film. Um, Sounds quite good. But that, it's, it's really funny, but uh, that's what I actually remember J.K. Simmons from most, even though it's one of his lesser known films. <laughs> J.K. Simmons was also in that game Red Alert. He's been in a few different games, actually. Yeah. Oh, he has the second power-up, by the way. Oh uh, yeah, I think he. Right, we, he, he is definitely. Um, He's in Portal Two as well, of course. Yes, that's yeah, of course. He is great in Portal Two. Yeah. See, this uh, power up is really powerful, but um, it runs out really quickly, and it should be okay. You can break these doors with it if you like hold it down, and then you can break like piggy banks like instantly with it. So you get I massive do combos. I these power ups from that demo. Another part that was in the demo was you were sort of flying around on this hover. Hovery thing. I don't know what that's all about. It was probably the yellow power up. No, it was literally you were on literally like seemed like a hover bike thing, sort of like the the A Grav Zoomer in in Jack and Daxter. Oh, mate. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I'm not sure where that could be. Um, well, I'm sure it will show up at some point, and I'll be like, there we go. Yeah. And then you can get, make that exact noise. So anyway, yeah. J.K. Simmons, oh, he is a <laughs> he is a g good actor in. Uh, I really do like him in Portal Two. Yeah, he was great. God, is do you, I don't know what you think, but isn't don't you think Portal Two is just like really fan quite fantastic? It's definitely like one of the b best crafted games in terms of like there's not really a dull moment in it. Yeah. And just like the the quality of it is just like it's I know it's like so well made from start to finish. Yeah, I did think the co-op wasn't nearly as good as the single player though. Oh no 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 not at all I agree with you on that one. It's still worth playing through. Don't get me wrong, but the see like you Ooh. play that game you play it for the single player really. Absolutely, just to hear Stephen Merchant the entire time. Yeah, he's hilarious in it. Like I do. I love don't Steve think Merchant. I've laughed so much at a performance in a video game before. Yeah, he is like. One of my favorite comedians, and he's just such great. Pardon me. He's got such a great um, comical timing, isn't he? Yeah. To get in Glowbox 2, grape juice makes him do different things, which I know sounds weird. But Andre, the, the little black thing inside him, wants to drink it. But my uh, body's junky. Yeah, but um, Glowbox is actually allergic to it, so it makes him. Oh shit. It makes him have like, a bad trip. Yeah, it makes him trip a lot. And uh, you have to hold, you have to keep tapping, like jump to go up there. So hold on, hold on. So the villain has an addiction to this juice, so Great it juice, makes yeah. Glowbox drink it, and yeah. he's allergic to it. But yeah, Glowbox is allergic to it. But the right. villain loves it. So, okay. so the villain getting Glowbox to drink it makes him act all wacky and stuff. And, like that's that. actually pretty dark. It's like <laughs> yeah, something's it's, inside yeah. you that's making you drink what's like poison to your body. And that's pretty dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. This game should be an 18 plus. Yeah, it's really dark. It like burn out his inside. Just... There's a, there is actually a really quite a strange part later on in the game. Um, I'll t like I'll mention this again when we get to it. But it's all about like this like witch. Uh, there's like oh, it's, I can't really explain it that no, well. This doesn't sound very dark so far. <laughs> A witch, mate. Witch is a well scary. Oh shit, I forgot to. Oh, I'm such a moron. I didn't see what time we started recording this at. Fuck, I'm sorry. That's I'm gonna guess it was at around 10 past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? That's a good enough guess. Okay. Um, um, it won't be too far off. Yeah, witch is a well scary, mate. I don't know what you're talking about, so. Um, well, no, there's the part in Yoshi's Island where Yoshi starts tripping balls, which, you know, when I was young, I didn't oh, pay yeah. attention to it. You but I, start, I played it again like a month ago. And I was just like to my friends, look at Yoshi. Right, okay, this was, this is quite a funny story. 
So I'm on my I'm on my 3DS playing Yoshi's Island because I'm 3DS ambassador. Got Yoshi's Island, yeah. yeah um, sure, sure. I'm playing I'm I'm playing it on there, and then Yoshi. We're we're, we're at, me and my friends were outside. I took my 3DS out with me as you did, and well, that's cool. Like, isn't it? I'm like, look, everyone, Yoshi is tripping balls. He's rolling balls. And as I say rolling balls really loudly, this elderly couple walks past, just out on, like, a stroll. Because we're out in, like, the woods. <coughs> and... <coughs> and that's the end of the story. So <coughs> thanks for watching this. No, no so, so we're <laughs> out in the woods, and I'm just like, to my friends, rolling balls. And there's, like... Six like 20, 19, 20 year olds, and this elderly couple just walks past, probably thinking, "What the fuck did we just run into?" You're so cool playing video games in the fucking. I know. I know. I think everyone cool, should give it a go. The day was later followed by one of my friends. There was a family. We were sort of on like a bank, and there was another bank across from us. And the family walked past with a dog, and they had kids as well. And then my friend brought. Completely oblivious to the family being there, goes up to one of my other friends and goes, Snort the Mikados! Snort the Mikados! <laughs> nice. <laughs> they that is the family probably thought we were some next level drug addicts. As next well. level. Not yep. just some entry level scrubs. <laughs> exactly. Well, if we're snorting Mikados, you know we must be pretty hardcore. What the fuck is Mikados? Mikados are like those chocolate stick, you know, like Pocky? Those like stick things Ooh, a green with one. chocolate on the end. Um, what the fuck? Snort that. Yeah, he, you can't. That? he was he was just having a like, I don't really know how we got to that situation. He was totally he was saying that. Well he mm. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, um that would uh, be quite painful. Do not try that at home. We're not yeah, trying to endorse snort snorting Mikado. Mikados. No, I do actually know what you mean as well. It it wouldn't work because you'd sort get of get it like combo. stuck up your nose and I don't, I don't you'd know. you probably die. Well, if you can make a Mikado pack. You know what? Let's just stop talking about snorting fucking Mikado. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to call this part now. JK Simmons or <laughs> snorting Mikado. <laughs> what a dilemma that is. Jesus. Mm. Snorting JK Simmons. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a good one. I actually, one of my favorite things about this game were, was how, like, Rayman changed his appearance when you got the different, um, outfits. Yeah. I just thought it looked so cool. Mm -hmm. Also, he's about to drink some more grape juice. Oh, God. The junkie's at it again. I know. Fucking look at how fast he got there. Speaking of junkies, today I learned that Stephen Fry snorted cocaine in Buckingham Palace. Mm. Mm. But, yeah, this one, this affects him really badly. What he floats up and starts fucking floating away. Alright. <laughs> Speech what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty strange. By the way, do, isn't this game like really good looking? Uh, uh, yeah, oh, I didn't know <laughs> that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I feel about it, mate. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, like as we were saying in Spyro, it's because of the art style. Like, exactly. Games that go for like realistic looking textures don't age nearly as well as mm. as these sort of stylized games. Exactly. And I believe Bring we get onto a on Dreamcast. Which yeah. you know is at this point a decently old system, still looks great. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rayman 2 is is really cool looking. So in a minute, I believe we get onto my favorite power up, which is the blue one. Lots of I think what makes the game feel like it ages well is the frame rate. Yeah. Ocarina of Time, the original, doesn't seem like it's aged that well because the frame rate's quite low. But if you play it on 3DS, it's okay because the frame. Oh, the rate's... frame rate is absolutely amazing on the 3DS. Yeah, it's great. That's that's it's the so problem good. with that though is because I'm used to that, I find it hard to play Majora's Mask now. If they released mm. a 3DS version of Majora's Mask, I'd be really happy. And Nintendo have said in the past they're considering it because Ocarina sold well. So Nintendo, if you want some money where you don't have to put in too much effort, just. Re-release Majora's Mask on 3DS. I'll I think buy it. A lot of people, people want them to do it. A lot of yeah. people do want them to do it. Uh, Majora's Mask is actually. I think it might be the only 3D Zelda I haven't beat. I've played. I beat two dungeons in it. Oh, I've fuck. never beat. Yeah. So, um, Nintendo, you're sitting on a pile of not too hard to get money there. They really what? are. I mean, so many people want it because it's like it's. So many people now say it's like their favorite Zelda, don't they? So. It's it's sort of got like a. I wouldn't say a cult following because lots of people like it, but I don't know. It's like when you re when people review the games, they don't raise it at the top. But when people go back and think which one's their favorite, that one often appears near the top. It really is. Any of the 3D Zelda's, I think, 
could be argue, arguably the best one. Even Skyward Sword, which I really liked. Um, mm. But I think, yeah, all of the 3D Zeldas have their own sort of charms that make them in some ways the best ones. They do indeed. Um, my oh, look, I, I re yeah, this is so. This is the blue one. This is my favorite one. This allows you to do the swinging that was in love, the, the second yes. game. Love, love that. Love. Yeah, it's really fucking cool. Um, yeah, it's, what were you saying about the about what Zelda or something? Oh, I was just gonna say that the the D the um DS ones are like my favorite actually. I really really like Phantom Hourglass. Oh, I, I love Phantom Hourglass. I prefer Spirit Tracks, but I wouldn't say that they're my favorite Zelda's. I just yesterday finished Link Between Worlds, and I love that. That was. I don't know where I'd compare, where I'd rate it compared to the rest of the Zelda's. Yeah. But that was a great, great game. Mm. God, I love the swinging mechanic. It's so cool. Yeah, no, in, in Rayman Two and and Rayman Three on GBA, it's all it's great fun. Mm. It is cool. So, should we end the part here, or...? Yeah, I was about to say it's been about 10 minutes, but I was waiting until we got to a part that... This'll do, I think. So, uh, um, next time... Ooh, there's one right up there. Next time we'll go into the, the hoodlum camp just up here and uh, wreck shit up, mate. See you then. See you Bye. then. Bye. Goodbye.